Welcome to day two. Today, we're going to be looking at the community of inquiry theoretical framework in blended learning. Learning outcome. By the end of this topic, you will be able to apply the community of inquiry framework in online facilitation. Let's look at it in three parts. We'll look at the theory, the proponent, and application for online learning. The community of inquiry under the proponent was proposed by Garrison, Alderson, and Archer in 2000. What was their focus? Developed and published a theoretical framework to structure the process of learning in an online or blended environment. A model of inquiry-based teaching and learning advocate for the creation of deep and meaningful learning in online teaching, that learners should be allowed to develop new knowledge from individual experience as a key of meeting the learning outcome. This particular theory was developed from other theory, and they based their concept on the theory of pragmatism and constructivism. The theory of pragmatism was proposed by John Dell, and the theory of constructivism, the earlier proponent was uh, Jane Pradget. Now, what was the focus of John Dell? John Dell's view of experiential learning. John Dell believed in experiential learning. The experience is always a dynamic two-way process. He described the process as a, tr a, a transaction an experience is always what it is because of a transaction taking place between the individual, what at that time constitutes the environment. And that was Dewey in 1938. So Dewey believed that the allowing the learner to actually relate with his own environment, we have some experience that will translate into a new knowledge. Again, there we viewed knowledge as arising from an active adaptation of the human organism to its environment. That learning should be active. That is there we, there we believe that learning should be active. So let's see the view of the constructivism. And to the constructivists, they believe in the use of case studies and scenario assessment that learning tasks that reflect real life situation. When you learn, let it reflect the real life situation. The collaborative tasks that we give opportunity to learners to learn from others. Then again, the constructivist advocates that knowledge discovery techniques where learners are given opportunity to develop new constructs of learning. This is their view. This is what they believe. And it is based on this pragmatism and constructivism that Garrison, Addison, and Archer came up with the framework of community of inquiry. Now, the presence in the community of inquiry, what are these presence? At the initial time, they have three presence. And the three presence were cognitive, teaching and social. And what they were saying is that for every learning experience, let the learner in have the cognitive experience, the teaching experience and the social. So the three presence have to be there for the learner to learn adequately. But there are new emphasis to these three presence, having the cognitive, teaching and be social. What are these new emphasis? That not for passive and amateur learners. That is what they are saying, that the use of the community of inquiry is not for passive and amateur learners. That community of inquiry provide meaningful engagement opportunities rather than direct instruction about content and provide structure that make learners learn through active inquiry, use of questioning techniques and feedback to advance learning. They present topic and allow learners identify questions, problems, methods, and answers while the teacher provide guidance and facilitate learning. 
this is what they stand for. That once you do this, putting the learner at the center, then the learner stands to learn best and be able to apply what he or she has learned. Now, having said that, we have some references here for you. You might go through, click on them, and read. There is summary we have learned about the proponent of the community of inquiry, what community of inquiry stands for, then two other theory, the pragmatism and constructivism, where the community of inquiry was developed from. Then the implication of the pragmatism, constructivism, and community of inquiry in online learning. We look at the old presence, which stands for the, uh, you look at the, cognit the cognitive, you look at the social presence and the teaching presence, and the new presence of the community of inquiry in education. Now, we have some assignments here you're going to do before the next meeting. Now, how has the use of case studies and scenario helped your learning experience? What is the perception of your students to the use of problem-solving techniques to advance learning? Submit this on the platform, and it will be looked at. So, T, the next class, I say thank you for listening.